Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Summer Stars is finally here. It's a promo Friday. We have cards back in packs again, and there's Euro and Copa America games today. Big day on FIFA and big game for IRL footy. Let's talk about what that loading screen is and what could be happening today with this Summer Stars promotion. So first things first, we have this loading screen that we just saw for a quick second as we were loading in. We got three hints. We finally have an updated loading screen from EA. They're telling us some cards that are going to be coming today on Friday. We know these two. We really think that we know that this is Kevin De Bruyne, 98 rated with the Belgium flag and 99 passing. That's an upgrade over his team of the season, which is a W. And we really think that this is Dumfries, a plus five over his team of the season card that is 89 rated. Of course, the Dutch nationality and 99 physical. We really, really think that that is Dumfries. Now, the one we're not sure about is this Brazilian striker card because Neymar has scored two goals um, and in the Copa America. So we were thinking Neymar could get a card, but if it's only 95 pace, Neymar's team of the season has 96 or 97 pace, I believe. So unless they're going to use a lower version of Neymar and I guess make him cheaper on the market, if that is EA's, I, I guess their goal here, then this could be Neymar, but I think it's more likely that it's a Richarlison or a Gabriel Jesus. Uh, I don't know if those either of those players have had good performances so far in the Copa America, but that's what this promo is based off of, right? Again, just a little bit of a uh, refresher. We talked about this yesterday. Summer Stars promo today is going to be basically large permanent upgrades to players based on how they have played for their country in either the Euros or the Copa America. And big thing again here is permanent upgrades. I think today a lot of people are going to think that these cards are going to be live uh, like the Path to Glory cards are. And in fact, they are not. They are not going to be live and upgrading. It's basically just going to be a one-time upgrade and that is going to be it. So again, a couple things that we can learn from the loading screen. First off, Kevin De Bruyne, 98 rated, might be one of the highest rated cards that is in this promo. Of course, they still could do a Messi. They still could do a Ronaldo, but they're not, I guess, promoing them on the front screen. So this Kevin De Bruyne card, again, they're going over the team of the season, which is a huge W in my opinion. I hope they boost up his pace because this card, again, you guys remember the team of the season, De Bruyne, last year. It was incredible. And Dumfries getting plus five over his tots as well. Uh, this card's going to look really, really ridiculous for a right back because he's an 89 rated tots. He already has 99 physical. You give this guy a plus five, he's going to look really scary. So very deserving as well for his great performances in the Euros. And I think that's what we're going to see today. A lot of cool cards that have had good performances from the Euros that are fan favorites from you know their favorite country that they're watching uh, or just somebody who has performed well that they can now use one of their cards in FIFA. So that's going to be the fun part about the content today. So of course, we'll have a team that is in packs. Hopefully, it is more than 11 or 14 or 15 players. Hopefully, it's like a squad of 20. Uh, you know, a starting 11 with the bench and the reserves would be incredible. I hope they go all out today. I mean, the Kevin De Bruyne stats, the way that looks on the loading screen uh, makes me, I guess, excited for the fact that they could and the Dumfries card, they could really start to upgrade these cards and put out some really, really nice items today. So we're really hoping for that. Of course, now again, let's talk about the market and these cards because like we saw with Path to Glory Team 2, PTG cards were very supplied because of one thing and one thing alone, and that was the big time preview packs that were released on the market on that day that Path to Glory Team 2 was released. So if you guys remember, these Path to Glory Team 2 cards were really expensive at the start, but they dropped off a ton with all the supply that they had. Joao Felix had a price range, or I think still has a price range of like 5 mil or something like that. He went all the way down. He's, his price range has been reset now to 750, but he went from 5 million coins right away down to 700k and then rebounded back up to a million later in the same Friday, right? So I, I expect to see today with the new team coming out pretty high price ranges. I think there's going to be a lot of supply though. And I think we're going to have a same sort of fluctuation and same sort of situation on the market with all of that supply from preview packs and from saved up packs. A lot of you guys have saved up packs because there hasn't been any new cards in packs uh, that make it worth opening packs for in the past week. So a lot of people have saved their rewards. They've saved, you know, the 82 times 8, the 83 times 10, all of those types of packs. People have been saving those. The 87 uh, times 3 that we had just yesterday on Thursday for content. So a lot of people have saved up packs. It's not just me. I mean, these aren't even that good of packs. My weekend league rewards and rivals rewards. But 
a lot of people have saved up packs because they're hoping for some really juiced up cards today. And again, with a 98 De Bruyne, a 94 as a plus five on Dumfries and whatever that 95 striker Brazilian is, it looks pretty good today. So I think there's reason to be excited about the squad that is going to be in packs today. Maybe some weak foot skill move upgrades. That would be great as well. But again, with the cards that are in packs today, I think it depends on the pack weight a little bit. You'll still be able to go in here and check your pack probabilities. Um, but I would expect to see from a 50K pack, probably around, around 5 to 6% uh, probability of packing one of these new cards today. But again, with all of the preview packs, with the lightning rounds, it's going to be supply, supply, supply. And I do think you're going to see the, the same sort of fluctuation on the market for these brand new cards today. So if you want to you know, try a couple of them out, uh, I would say buying them in that third to fourth hour is probably going to be the move again because Joao Felix went down to 780k and rebounded to a million coins in like a two hour time span after the lightning round and after the supply was finished. So just kind of watch out for that. I guess that would be like what 9 p.m. UK time. So like three, three to five hours after 6 p.m. UK, like the promo time. Definitely keep a watch on some of these cards because that's when all the supply is kind of going to stop and you might see them rebound back as people go to play weekend league and try out those new cards that were added today. So just kind of keep that out there. Again, I think supply is the biggest word. We're going to talk about it a little bit more uh, today in this game. But again, remember the cards are not live. People are going to get confused because there's been so many live cards and these ones have been getting upgraded. Um, and we'll talk about that more throughout the week because I almost guarantee you people are going to think these new cards today are going to be live. But again, other content that we should see, hopefully an objective player uh, for a Summer Stars objective. I don't know who it could be. Um, of course, you know, usually the objective players are, you know, more of a middle tier player, not, not like an insane type like Ronaldo or a Messi or a Neymar in objectives. But I do expect at least one objective player and an SBC player as well. Now, speaking of SBCs, I've saved a lot of SBCs I want to do Ramos. I want to do the United States Nation players. I have not done them yet because they are not expiring to it today. A lot of stuff's expiring today. If we take a look through here, uh, Brazil Nation players expiring today. The 82 times 8, all of your little upgrade packs that have been out. The rare player pick, Adair, um, Prime Icon Moments Guaranteed is going away. The 82 to 88, a lot of your festival football challenges are going away. Um, but there is some stuff that is still sticking around, right? Like the Ramos, I think fodder is going to drop today with that supply because fodder is still very expensive at the moment. 83 is 6.5K a piece. 82s are 3K, 4,000 coins a piece. 84s are 11, 12,000 coins. It's crazy how expensive this stuff is right now. It's because we've had no supply and that's going to change today. Now, I don't think the 84s are going to go all the way back down to like 4,000 coins because I do think there's still a couple SBCs out and it's going to take, you know, a few days of, su of, de of supply, not demand, of supply with no demand to make these cards drop back down to like 4K where they have been their absolute lowest. I would expect to see some of your 84s maybe in like the 7 to 8K range today on Friday, potentially, uh, which would be a very nice drop off. And it's going to make SBCs like Ramos, like the United States Nation players and whoever they drop today cheaper, right? It's going to be to do that and there. So that'll be a W from today, but I think that's just going to be a byproduct of all of the supply from preview packs and from the saved up packs that come in today on Friday. So that's going to be very interesting to watch. But if you have any of this stuff still in your club tradable, I would say this is a great opportunity to get it out because it's still stupid, stupid high in my opinion. Now for the rest of the market, what's going to happen to like these PTG cards? They're still live. They still have a lot of demand, but I also think there could be a little bit of selling, a little bit of panic because some of these cards are up so much People are wanting to use them. This has been the only type of card related to the Euros that we've had in FIFA. And I think that might change today. And I think you might see a little bit of sell-off on some of these as a new card comes out. Um, and people maybe go sell their Griezmann that is no longer live and upgrading to go try out maybe maybe Benzema gets a card today, you know, or something like that. So all I would say is be wary of a little bit of sell-off on some of these cards because I do think there is potential for people to see the new cards because I think they're going to be decently cheap, right? That's how these PTG cards were uh, after the, all that supply from two to three hours. They just got drop, drop, drop. Then they rebounded back and they got to a pretty cheap price um, compared to how Team 1 was. If you guys remember PTG Team 1 versus Team 2, PTG Team 2 was just so much more cheaper uh, in the in the first day because of all that supply. I think that's going to happen again today with the Summer Stars cards. So I think they'll be pretty cheap. And of course, if people know that they don't upgrade, they should be a little bit cheaper 
anyways um, on the market because that upgradable factor isn't there. But you could see a little bit of selling today on some team of the season cards, maybe some PTG items, because again, it's just that stage of the game where people are going to want to try out these brand new cards and they're going to want to try the newest and the greatest thing that is on this game. So again, that is what is coming today content wise. I don't know if we have anything else like super special that we're expecting or anything um you know, unexpected. I feel like EA could throw some sort of, of a surprise in here. I'm not sure what they would do though. I don't know if they would release old cards back into packs just yet. That seems to be a thing that they do, um, you know, later on in like July, even early August. So I don't imagine they would do that just yet. But also this might be team one of two. I think it's very possible that we would have two different teams of the summer stars just like we had two teams of path to glory i think that might be team one today so in that case then it might just be a squad of 11 to 15 players uh but hopefully we have some big names in there as well guys like uh spinazola is one that a lot of people want i think zinchenko would be a really cool card there could be a lot of uh manchester city links today right with zinchenko having a great game in the, the knockout round versus sweden uh for his ukraine side and then of course you know you, you've got uh, KDB, who is almost confirmed to be in from the loading screen. So a couple Manchester City players that could get in, which could be a W. Uh, maybe even Raheem Sterling as well. It'll be interesting to see the player selection today and to see where EA goes and how, if they really ride the hype, they really, really ride the hype. Because I, I, I sincerely believe that EA Sports updated those Path to Glory cards early because of the England hype. And there was a lot of hype around Chilwell and around Foden. I sincerely believe that. So I'm wondering if today if we get multiple English cards as a part of this team, you could see Jordan Pickford being in. Of course, he's been great. Sterling scored three goals, I believe, uh, in the tournament. And so I, I think there's a possibility for multiple English cards today, which is a W if you do believe that it is coming home. So yeah, I know there's not a ton to talk about except for just there's finally new cards and packs today. There's going to be a lot of supply on the market, uh, which is going to put some coins on the market. I mean, if people are buying the preview packs with FIFA points, um, then you're going to see some coins coming onto the market and you'll probably see, again, if you're if you're trying to trade and make some coins today, icons, some really rare team of the season cards. And honestly, I would just focus on these brand new ones, the brand new cards that come out today, the, um, the Summer Stars cards, I would really focus on those because that's where the hype is going to be. Maybe some of these Path to Glories as well, of course, if there is any sell-off, any panic, especially on cards and teams that play today, right? We have Switzerland, Spain, Belgium, Italy, Brazil, and Chile, Peru, and Paraguay, right? So if Brazil can beat Chile, then uh, you're going to see an upgrade. We have up, we have more upgrades on the line uh, today with you know Militao, with Vinicius, and with Firmino, and of course, uh, Spain as well. Marcus Llorente and Alvaro Morata, if they beat Switzerland, that will be their third win. And then Belgium and Italy both will get plus ones if either of them were to win today in their games as well. So that is kind of what's going on today on Friday inside of FIFA. Again, supply is the, is the name of the game. I'm excited to see the packs today because we've had kind of a slow week of content. I'm excited to rip open some of these. Hopefully you guys can pack some summer stars. I hope the pack weight is up, right? EA knows that they have to make the pack weight decently high on these just because it's later on in the game. We're, we're past team of the season it's freaking July. So hopefully these cards, you know, like I said, on a 50K pack, hopefully five to 6%, which means a pretty high pack weight, especially for the 100, 125K packs. That would be very nice. And hopefully some upgrade packs later on this week as well would be very, very desirable in this game, in my opinion. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. If you're excited for Summer Stars, let me know why down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Boat Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.